All right, so we are standing outside the 2A Thrift Superstore. And I'm not gonna show you the front of the store because it's pouring out. <laughs> Maybe I'll catch it on the way out. All right, let's go in and get a cart. So right when you walk in the store, they have these tables and I love these tables. See how these tables are made out of like plank wood? I wanna buy the tables, but they're not for sale. Oh my goodness, look at this glass bird. This is like shipping nightmare. What are they asking for him? Oh, $6.99, what? Oh my gosh, do I wanna ship this, guys? Let's see what the bottom says. I can even lift it, it's very heavy. Oh, it was sold at Home Goods for $9.99. I'm really glad that sticker was there because I would have been thinking this was like Murano or something. Okay, you stay there, bird. Thank goodness I don't have to buy him. Okay, I feel like we saw this pheasant the other day, painted with a different colorway. This guy has a little bit of chipping on his beak. Do you guys remember that? Yep, it's the same mold. I wonder what mold company this is. All right. Let's get our cart. Let's head down the aisles. That first aisle looks like figurines. Let's do the figurines aisle. See if we can find anything there. This is interesting. Oh, it fooled me, it's plastic. I was really hoping that she was made out of like a porcelain or something like that. 349, I think it's Mary. We have a giraffe with a broken little little ear thing. What are those? Antlers? Do giraffes have antlers? Okay, question of the day. What are giraffes antlers called? I'm not sure. Okay, another statue. I'm not sure what's happening with the face paint. That's a shame. Lots of animals. Different figurines, birds on the bottom. That's pretty. Oh, what is this guy? I don't think that's a Hummel. That's fairly nicely painted though. It's a mold. Let's take a look at this bird statue or figurine. Holland mold, $5.99. I'm not really crazy about the colorway on this. I wish they were like two cardinals or bluebirds or even goldfinches, that would be good. So I think I'm gonna wait on that one. Oh my goodness, a duck wearing a hat. <laughs> 1993 and it's a molded piece. Okay. What else? There's another cat that almost looks like a dog. It's a porcelain piece, a hobbyist piece. What is this guy? Oh, he's a bank. Huh, it's like a little terrier bank thing. He almost seems like he has like a like an iridescent glaze to him, luster wear. I don't imagine he's worth very much. Oh, look at this girl. Look at this sweet little bell. Wow, she's heavy. The felt looks to have some age to it. Oh, precious moments. If they were only worth money, we'd all be rich. Always lots of precious moments. Okay, I had to switch aisles because the kids were being very loud. Oh, very interesting. These are toasting glasses, I imagine for bride and groom. So you put the two together and it makes a heart. 
Sweet sentiment. I don't know that I'd want to drink out of something like that. Looks to be silver plate, maybe, if that. $3.99, so we'll put that back. This seems to be the wood brown aisle. What is this? Just a carved, oh, it looks to be a lid of a, a wooden dish. Not sure where the wooden bowl is. A duck tray. I guess you keep this on your desk maybe as a catch-all. Made in Taiwan, which I think Taiwan is either the 80s or the 90s. I'm gonna guess that's the 80s. What else are we finding? I'm really hoping that the employees are restocking the shelves. The shelves seem a little bit bare compared to last time I was here. $5.99 for this carved wanderer. <laughs> You know, he's well done and it's a nice piece, but I don't know how many people would want this in their home. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on these type of souvenir pieces. I think this would be a souvenir piece. I'm not even sure about that. And now we are onto the dishes in China Isle. This little ruffle, ruffle edged glass dish. This is Amberina with this gold at the bottom changing to like an orange red 249 has like a hobnail design okay so this cart just got rolled out i don't know what the rule is about carts in this store but we're gonna sneak a peek this little drone some boxing gloves and mask Okay, let's go back to dishes. Let's see if we find anything on this aisle. So wood bowl painted like a watermelon, $2.99. What does that say? Kavla? J. Kavla, lead free, made in Mexico. I don't know that I'm really fond of this colorway. I don't think it's especially well done. Now, I do like the folk art pottery, the Mexican folk art pottery, but I'm not crazy about that piece. Okay, so this one looks like Taylor Tin, and it is carefree, Syracuse, China, Woodbine, made in USA. Pretty pattern. Here is a Penn State jar. I kind of like this, $4.99. Maybe for tobacco. Could be a tobacco jar. Piece of pottery, who is making this? I don't know that signature, Sisig. But I think this is a good piece. I really like this piece. Doesn't have any chips or cracks. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the cart. So what I really like about the bigger stores, and I've explained this before, is that with this amount of shelving, they have to know that they are going to get a lot of inventory. So the inventory is constantly being put out. Here is a jug or a pitcher. Now it does have a mark right there. I'm going to have to use Google Lens to figure that out. I don't know that this is especially desirable. It's a nice piece. I'm just not feeling it for some reason. I'm going to put it up here so we can take a look at it. Maybe I'll put this in the cart until I find out for sure. I'd hate the idea that I put something back and I could have made a profit on it. So we're going to put you, I'm going to try to lay you down. Will it stay? It's staying. Okay, some rooster plates. Seems like it's transferware. Gibson. All right, so we're going to put that one back. Spotting Corel on the shelf. This is the green pattern. I don't remember what this pattern is called. Is it Green Daisy? $18.99 for 29 pieces. So you get the cups and the dinner plates. 
Also looks like the creamer maybe. Creamer and maybe an uncovered sugar ball. I remember for a while there, Corel was really desirable. And what I like about it is this is not as hard to ship and it's a little more lightweight than the other dishes. But at $19, I'm not gonna even bother looking that up. So on the top shelf is Opal House. Opal House is Target. Beautiful floral pattern. And it's funny because it looks like it's vintage. But when you turn it over, I think it's painted that way. See the dark ring on the bottom? There's no way this is that old. So there is the Opal House signature. And originally, what does that say, 1999. Kind of pretty though. And what does the thrift store want for it? I'm not seeing a price, let's see, 899. It's a little high, but I do like that. If that was probably three or four dollars, I would pick that up. Okay, what else are we seeing? Temptations, little casserole dishes. Quite cute. Ooh, nine dollars a piece. Ouch. <laughs> ouch, ouch. Double ouch. They're both nine dollars. That's crazy. All right, next aisle. Okay, on the back wall is a very large amount of bagged items. I might go through those briefly and see if I can spot anything. Most of it looks like um, arts and crafts, things like that, gadgets. I think they have another section further down that might be different materials. Okay, right when I'm saying this, I'm spotting some hooks, brass hooks. Those look interesting, but it's a mixed bag. It's not all hooks. So they have one triple hook and then a random draw pull. I would have liked it better if they had two or three hooks. Okay, I'm just going to go on to the next aisle. Okay, sporting equipment, very heavy leather golf bags. I did pick up a golf bag at a recent yard sale and quite a bit of attention for it. I think it's a Titleist, so I'm expecting that'll go this week. And what did I pay for that one? That one I paid $5 and I'm asking 50 for that one. Pro Connects, Black Ace. I might have to look this up. Pro Connects can bring good money, but I don't know all of the models. So I'm gonna take this off and put this in my cart and give that a comp check. Okay, so this aisle is a lot of tools, hardware, um, filters, 16 by 20 by two. I have no idea what, what size filter I need for my air conditioner at home, central air. Mouse traps. Wow, these look old. Do people still even use these? They're kind of cool. I wonder what year that's from. Table tennis. Okay, I think that's it for this aisle. Now the shoes are here and they have one, two, three, four, five, six aisles of shoes. Down that way looks interesting. There are some small appliances and handbags are here. So I'm gonna take a quick look at handbags. Lately, I've been kind of back on the Vera Bradley kick for some reason. I think because they've been doing well. Now Vera Bradley can be priced up in thrift stores, horribly so, and they can have a lot of wear. So I'm really cautious about which ones, like this one doesn't look crispy at all. Looks quite worn. Here's another one here. What are they asking? $17.99, what? Yeah, I won't be buying Vera Bradley in this store. That's crazy. That is so crazy. Okay, we're gonna take a peek at the men's shoes. Looks like a lot of these have quite a bit of wear to them. I always like a good kilty loafer. These are quite worn, $11.99. And this is GH Bass. 
Usually you can tell if the shoe is quality by the feel of the leather and if the sole is leather. I always look for a leather sole. Not that I always buy a shoe with a leather sole, but that really helps me identify that it's a better brand. Very rare will a better brand use like a plastic sole. Another kilty shoe. This is Bostonian. I never buy Bostonian. I'm not even sure where Bostonian is sold. Okay, in the vases section is this vase for $7, Williamsburg pottery. And now this design, this leaf design, is making me realize that this one looks very similar. Two different markings though. Very heavy, not really feeling good about these pieces. I think I'm gonna leave these for somebody else, but I'm gonna put them together because I think somebody, if they like this one, will probably like that one, but two different companies, I'm pretty sure. All right, next style. Okay, so I've pulled the racket out of the case. Pro Connects Black Ace, nice condition, mid-size. Most rackets will have all of the information listed on them, either inside right here or somewhere along the edge. I always check the edge to see what kind of wear is on the racket. This one seems to be in really good condition and it is a graphite, which I really like the graphite rackets. So for $6, I'm gonna take a chance on this. I did run comps. Now the racquetball rackets seem to do better in this uh, Pro Connects. Not as good for the tennis rackets, but for $6 with the case, I'm gonna take a chance on this one in the Carticos. Putting my big girl pants on and looking at glass. Here's an interesting vase. There's one large controlled bubble right in the bottom. It does have a hole drilled in the bottom. I guess that's to release any moisture that might have been trapped in that bubble or air when it was being blown. Interesting vase, but again, I don't know anything about the makers. I don't see any signature. But I would imagine that having to blow this bubble in there in this thick base has got to be more time consuming, you know, cost more money to make something like this rather than just a regular vase from, you know, a dollar store. I'm on the fence about this one. I think I'm going to leave it behind just because glass is not really my thing but always good to learn and I will run a cop. Okay, on the flip side of the aisle, candles and candle holders and more glassware. This has a very pretty sparkle to it. Why can't they sign all glass? That would make it so much easier on me. Boy, that's pretty. What do they want for this? $5.99 again. Okay, this has gotta be crystal. Very heavy, very clear, very beautiful. But I think I'm gonna wait because I really don't want a lot of clear glass in my shop, but boy, is that pretty. Ah, decisions, decisions. I never wanna just get into picking up everything that is pretty. I wanna know that this stuff, you know, will eventually sell. All right, guys, so I know that you like me to notice the Stangle pottery. So this is for all of you who are leaving comments. You missed the Stangle pottery. <laughs> Gravy boat, an under plate that doesn't look like a complete match. Oh, this is cute. A little tiny cream or, or some sort of fruit, dura fruit, Stangle pottery. Now I know it's not the vases, but I figured I would just show it to you guys because a lot of you out there, it seems like collect Stangle. Little Pyrex 501 pink refrigerator dishes. I wish it had the bigger one with it, but I am thrilled with these. Not a bad price of $3.99 each, probably at least $20 to $25 each. So really thrilled, love this pink color. See this guy? He has announced five times we're leaving and we're going to eat. And then I'll go down an aisle and then he goes down an aisle. I saw the baseball player. Without the arm, without the hand. <laughs> All right, so again, I think we're leaving and we're not leaving. We have all of this to do. Somebody send food. <laughs> what are we looking for? Oh, look at this Lego. What is this? Is that anything? Roger knows games like nobody's business. 
best game seller I've ever met. It's all fun and games till what? Till someone gets hurt? Okay, and this is the best part of this visit. Self-checkout in a thrift store. This is great. Oh my goodness, I have never seen that. We are scanning our own items. So they have the scanning guns. That's crazy. Okay, the way of the future. We'll all be checking ourselves out. Think everybody will be honest? <laughs> we shall see. Oh my goodness, so I come into this store. We're in Exton, Pennsylvania. Look at this. This thing is gorgeous. Now it does have a little bit of a corner bent up. It's all here, but somehow this is bent up, this rose, but this is everything. Oh my gosh, $10. I might have to buy this. I'm not gonna ship it though, so do I really want this? I do. Okay, put it in the cart. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off because it's so heavy, I can't even lift it with one hand. Okay, so this is gonna give you a sense of how big this thing is. <laughs> Look at it sticking out of the cart. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So good. Am I gonna be able to flip this on Facebook Marketplace? I think I am. Beautiful, beautiful vanity tray. All right, let's keep going. For this last part of the video, I have to do a voiceover because the store turned on very loud music, but I did want to show you guys this wonderful find. This is Franciscan Desert Rose, and I am pretty thrilled to find this because I don't know that I've ever found this many pieces. Now, I'm just going to give you my thoughts as we look through these dishes. I'm realizing that all of these are individually priced and that they are mixed stamps. In other words, they are from different dates. So it's not a complete set and it's not a set that has all of the dishes from one time period. I am going to include a chart if I can find one to show you guys. There are many different stamps for the back of these types of dishes. So as I start to look at them, I'm realizing some pieces are going to be more valuable than others. This one is like a platter or a plate, much bigger than a regular size uh, dinner plate. So I do take note of that, but I continue going through the pieces to see how much they are, you know, how much the store wants for them and what sizes we're talking about. So here I'm comparing sizes one to another. This 182, I believe, is a vegetable bowl or a serving bowl, and I'm figuring there's three of them. I will probably want these because the price point is pretty good at $1.99. I am studying the marks and also looking for any damage. I wouldn't want any of these with chips on them because I'm going to be selling this individually at this point in my mind. And that's pretty much what's going to happen. So here I'm placing them in my cart to get a sense of how many of these I want. At this point, I think I'm just buying some of them. Sometimes I have to think out, you know, my thought process and organize my thoughts at what the buy is going to be. Absolutely, yes to this little, I think it's an egg cup. I love this little piece, wish there were more of those. And also this type of cup, I'm not sure if this is a coffee cup, I'm sure I'm going to be able to find them. So here I'm just noticing another piece that's beautiful, not the same pattern or maker. Okay, so we have two of those cups. These small bowls here, $7, which is not a bad price, but when you're buying dishes individually, this can add up very quickly. Here are the teacups and saucers, $1.99, and there are quite a few of these. Now again, different stamps and different dates for a few of those. Little dessert bowls, I'm gonna call these, probably like an ice cream bowl or a compote bowl. Four of these. And the prices aren't bad. That would equal a dollar a piece. So I'm still willing to do the math in my head. And I always have to run comps to see what dishes like this are currently bringing because dishes like this, highly collected, but it could be very saturated. Again, $1.99. So the smaller to medium size pieces are running about a dollar, $2 a piece. 
I think at this point, I start to think to myself, how much would all of this be if I just pick it up as, you know, a complete buy? So I'm taking a look at this, trying to still to figure which pieces would be the most valuable, putting it together as a lot. And at some point, I do count the pieces quickly and mentally try to figure what they're going to bring. At this point, I realize that maybe I can speak with somebody and see if they will allow me to purchase them all at a better rate. I won't say what I paid for them, but very discounted and I'm very appreciative that I was able to buy the whole lot of dishes and they're just beautiful. So I will try very hard to show these in the next haul and uh, show you guys what I bought, what I got, and what I think they're going to bring. Here are some screenshots for a few pieces you definitely want to be on the lookout for. These pieces can bring really good money. They are a little bit more rare. This is a ginger jar, some Irish coffee mugs. Look at these prices. And a domed cake plate. This one especially I have never seen before, $249.99. And these are toast covers. I'm not quite sure that that's what these really are. Very interesting, $250. I'm also going to include what a chart looks like that you can Google to find out, you know, what pieces you have and the date range. So really helpful. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours. <music>